guys, and welcome back to ASX Market Watch. Thanks very much for joining me today. Looking at three different indices, the ASX Top 200, the Dow Jones, and the FTSE, just to get a wider overview of where every, uh, every different market is heading at the moment. And um, because of that, uh, if we were to believe that three out of four stocks follow the overall market or the overall index, then um, which way we should be trading uh, depending on which way the index is trading as well. So again, thanks heaps for joining me. Um, you know, a good excuse to chat about the markets. The first one I'm looking at is the ASX Top 200. Now, um, this one's a, a very simple chart. I'm looking at it's a day, uh, a daily bar chart. So each of these individual bars is one day. Now, um, the first thing I've drawn in is my uptrend line. Uh, a really, really simple tool and something that can help us find support in the future. For instance, um, the price might come down and bounce off this uptrend line. Um, as you can see, on the ASX Top 200, we've got a little bit of leeway at the moment. Um, probably the price could go down to about 4,750 to 4,800 pretty safely, and, um, and it's got that support of the uptrend line there. Um, so that's on a medium-term basis. Uh, really, we're well above the uptrend line, so we're still in an uptrend. Um, if we're looking at a shorter-term signal on the ASX Top 200, then we'd just simply draw a shorter-term trend line. Um, and again, the market is above that one as well. So really, there's not too much to say about the ASX Top 200. Uh, it still hasn't reached its Elliott, Elliott Wave target of 5,000... 5,080 or 5,060, I think it was, from memory. So that would be the minimum target for the fifth wave. Um, it really is lagging behind the Dow Jones and the FTSE at the moment. So, uh, well, we'll just have to wait and see if it does make it. But in the meantime, keep an eye out on these uptrend lines. So, because this is where we'll be finding that support. And um, also, further to that, if it does cross that uptrend line and then it makes a lower peak and lower trough, so a little zigzag movement down, then that's what we'll be looking for for a, a, a short-term sell signal on the ASX Top 200. But at the moment, we're still in uptrend territory. So the next one is the Dow Jones, and um, you know the same sort of thing with the Dow Jones. I've just drawn in our uptrend line starting from March 2009. There's the bottom there, and um, it's gone all the way up till today, um, April in April 2010. Now, um, again, we've got quite a lot of leeway on the Dow Jones as well, so it could really um, find support at 10,500 10, if it wanted to. Um, Friday was quite a significant down day with a lot of volume, so we could be seeing uh, further down moves uh, f stemming from that. But in the meantime, it's still above its shorter-term uptrend line as well. So um, for the Dow Jones, again, would have to see that zigzag down movement once it crossed the downtrend line for an exit signal. So it would be a, a lower peak and a lower trough. And uh, so that's really simple stuff on the Dow Jones as well. Still considered in an uptrend at the moment as well. One last thing on the Dow Jones is the price extension, so the Elliott Wave um, price extension. Now, if you can just have a quick squeeze there. The Dow Jones has made it to its 50% extension of wave three. Now what that means is um, what we're in at the moment is wave five. It tends to go uh, between 50% and 75 to 100% of wave um, three. So it's reached the 50%, which is the lower end of the target. And it's absolutely, it's bounced off it. So it's really, um, it hasn't closed above it strongly at all. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's reached that Elliott wave target. So you could consider wave five um, to have been reached at the moment. Uh, of course, we'll have to wait for our solid exit signal for it to be confirmed. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, it's a really similar deal on the FTSE. This is the FTSE at the moment, the last one of the day. Again, just that uptrend line, really simple stuff. As you can see, it's bounced off it a few times there. And the shorter term uptrend line, uh, which would be our shorter term signal, the FTSE has really been the strongest out of this, these three indices. The um, Australian markets have been really lagging behind the other two markets, the American and the European markets. Um, but yeah, I mean, all we can do is follow the charts. So as you can see, it's got this shorter term uptrend line. Um, it, it's about to cross it, but again, we'd have to see our little zigzag movement down. So a lower peak and then going through the previous trough. And that would give us our, our um, short-term sell signal. But again, we've got our support at about 5,500 on the FTSE, just from the, um, the trend line. Now, looking at the Elliott Wave as well on the FTSE, you can see that the FTSE has reached 
This one here is the 50% retracement, or 50% extension of wave three. So again, the FTSE has reached the wave five um, initial target, which is 50% extension. Uh, again, I mean, really, it could go further than that, um, but we'll just wait and see. We'll use our solid exit signals to confirm it, but um, at this stage, it has reached the target. So, that the initial target anyway. So, simple stuff, guys, um, on the FTSE and Dow Jones. So that the Australian market's unfortunately still lagging behind, hasn't reached its Wave 5 target, and if uh, the Dow Jones and FTSE fall, it may not reach that target either. Um, but, hey, what can you do? As I said, follow the rules. Happy days. No worries. Um, so, anyway, thanks so much for joining me, guys. You can get more rules. It's all free on my site, which is www.asxmarketwatch.com. There's a free course on there and a whole bunch of free stuff as well. Um, and just a few of my trades that I've been taking recently. So stop by, have a chat, swing me an email, um, say good day. And other than that, I'll see you next week. Happy trending, guys. See you later.